into the wind, 423 yards, bunkers on the left. Small green here to this par three. Something other than driver, the short par four. Should leave a pretty full sand wedge that he can spin. It's a six. It's going to try and work it back using the wind, oh, trying to ride right it right down. One yard. Leave it one yard. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Oh. Well, it did. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. I just don't have enough time to make all these videos. Tiger Woods is back, okay? And I had to make this video because uh, one of my subscribers tweeted me and he said, is Tiger doing the classic swing? And what I'm gonna say is he is certainly incorporating a couple of elements that I'm gonna point out today that I've been screaming about on my channel. I'm so excited. Tiger Woods was the reason I got back into golf. I was so frustrated and angry at golf in my 20s. I quit playing. I put away the clubs and I said, I'm never going to do this again. And then I saw Tiger Woods win the Masters in 1997 and he inspired me to pick this game back up again. But I'm telling you, it looks like we're working on some of the same things. So that's terribly exciting. So let's take a look at this swing right here. Now, a couple things I'm going to tell you is... Uh, it looks like Tiger is putting a little less stress on his back by not turning his shoulders against his hips in the modern swing sort of style. I'm also thrilled to hear that he's laying off the heavy weights. Oh my goodness gracious, who would have thought? Um, yeah, so he looks long and lean and lithe and he just looks fantastic. So let's take a look at this swing right here. Now, the first thing I'm going to point out is he's allowing his hips to open up more than he did in the past, okay? So we can certainly see a couple inches more rotation towards the open position than he used to in the past. Now, this is significant because as I've said, and if you've tried to go through swing changes, an inch equals one mile. Just to change your swing an inch is a lot. A couple inches is enormous. But this is going to take a lot of the torque off of his lower back, which, gosh, I am hoping he's going to be healthy. And I think he's back. I'm going to call it right now. He just shot 65 today. He had it really going yesterday until he had a couple double bogeys at the end of the round. But what makes Tiger so great beyond all that is his mind, his creativity. At his peak, he had the best short game, I think, in the history of the game. So let's take a look at some of this. Let's look at this hip. Yeah, this is just gorgeous. Okay, let's watch his takeaway. He's allowing everything to go back together. So we see that belt buckle. He's got his shoulders and his hips rotating open around that right leg like it's more of a post. He used to keep his hips a little more quiet and his feet more quiet. His lower body movement is better than it's ever been. Now the second thing I'm going to talk about besides his hips being a little more open in this position we're going to watch him load into the ground the same way I was talking about Jack Nicklaus last night. We're going to watch that right knee bend. See that? He goes from that post position to the sit move. He lets that center of gravity drop. You can see it right there in his belt buckle. Okay, now look at this. His right heel. He's not going to let that right heel pop up. He's going to roll it to the inside. Much more Jack Nicklaus, much more Ben Hogan, and a lot less Michael Jackson. He just rips it right down the fairway. Get tiny cut off the hooker. 
Okay, so let's take a look at this swing. Now he was trying to cut this ball, and I don't think he he really got it to where he wanted to. But he still, you know, this swing is a good swing to look at because I'm going to compare it to his swing from 2000. As he goes through his transition, this is what I like so much. This is reminiscent of Ben Hogan. This is just a beautiful squat position right here. He's always been very good about uh, keeping his weight deep, and he gets that uh, forward bend that's just absolutely beautiful. And uh, look at him coming in here, man. This is just, he's just screaming at it. And one of the things I really like here is watch this low left release. That club is just flying up. It just looks more like Hogan than it ever did before. And I know he was trying to do it with Haney before, but this is this is really getting somewhere. Now let's compare that swing to the year 2000. This is probably when the greatest golf ever was probably played by Tiger himself. But we're going to watch. Now he's a lot younger here. See, that belt buckle is staying pretty much pointed at the ball. He even stops it from moving right there. That's where his belt is going to stop moving to the rear, and he's going to get ready to blast through the ball. That's that's a young man's flexibility right there. I could do that. I used to be able to do that when I was this age, but I can't do it anymore, and Tiger's no spring chicken. But I love that he's letting his hips open up a little bit more. Now, to be at the top of the swing and have your hips pointing at the ball – that means that his hips are farther ahead in rotating towards the target. And one of the things that I think Tiger has consciously worked on, uh, I, because it, I think that it leads to some inconsistency with his contact, is the Michael Jackson. This is what I had too. Hee hee! Hee hee! Look at that heel getting up there. Yeah, that's, uh, you see Jamie Sadlowski, you see a lot of guys do this that are really trying to cream the ball, but they're creaming the ball and they don't care where it's going. We want to be a little bit more precise. I think that you can cream the ball and still uh, be a little bit more in control. Yeah, this is it right here, boy. That's a smooth criminal right there. And then, wow, his hips are already opening and, uh, it was a tremendous lash he put on the ball, and he could he could get it around. I mean, Jesus, he was the best ever. Um, but again, I believe that had a lot to do with his putting and his short game. Um, when he, I was talking about Jack Nicklaus yesterday. When Tiger Woods had the overall driving title, Jack Nicklaus. Okay, let's go back. 1980. Jack Nicklaus wins the total driving the very first year they ever had it. In 1980, Jack Nicklaus was 40 years old. He was 10th in distance and 13th in accuracy for a sum total of 23. So that's a pretty great score when you add them together for total driving. Uh, Tiger Woods led total driving, uh, I think, this year. And I believe he was third in distance, but he was 50th or 51st in accuracy for a total of uh, 54. So you add the two together and the lower score, the better. So um, Tiger's never been as accurate as Jack Nicklaus was. Uh, but at any rate, maybe he will be now. But let's look at this next swing. This is the very first swing, and this is when I'm screaming, oh my God, he's back. You can see that he's really letting his hips go a lot more than he used to. It starts right from the beginning of the swing. That left knee is working in. The right hip is working back. Guys, this is, this is what I've been praying for right here. Because I don't want Hot Tiger to be hurt. I want him to come back and be the man. Nobody's ever been as exciting for golf as Tiger Woods. He's, you know, it'd be like, all of a sudden, Michael Jordan's back in the NBA. Oh, my God, this is going to be amazing. Now, look at that footwork. That is just so much better than it used to be, in my 
humble opinion. So watch him turn around that right leg as a post. Then we see the sit move as he moves laterally and the knees spread apart and then roll to the inside of that right foot. Look, his right foot is still down, people. Look at that beautiful impact position. Oh my goodness gracious. He looks like he's swing, swinging within himself. He looks like he's got it on cruise control. And I'm telling you, he has the mind of a ninja warrior. He is the man. So Tiger Woods, congratulations on making it back. We can't wait to see you play this next year. Please stay healthy. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're looking forward to seeing you hit them long and hit them straight. Do you have a golfer on your Christmas list? Get them the Hogan Code. Change your game, change your life.